Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and today's video is going to be sort of like a one brand makeup tutorial that is Swiss Beauty. I expected this video to go a lot smoother than it did. So uh, I had some mishaps with the eyeshadow. I had to take off the eyeshadow twice, reapply it. The foundation, big bummer. You will see it throughout the video. So firstly, prepping my skin with this Dotton Key Hydra booster capsule serum i have used this one up so much i really love this product and then going ahead with my moisturizer this one is the nutriderm moisturizing lotion this works really well for me underneath most of my uh, makeup products i have gone a little bit heavy handed with the moisturizer that's how i always do in most of my videos because i want the makeup to glide on really smooth and moisturizer does help quite a lot now moving on to the eyes for eyebrows i have this one this is the swiss beauty eyebrow pencil and this one is in the shade dark brown so it does have like a brush tip on this side which i'm going to be brushing my eyebrow hair with this is like a wood pencil kind of like a hard pencil so let's see how this one is going to go now even though it's like a wood pencil it's not like very rigid it's actually pretty creamy and uh, you don't have to really tug and pull that much so that's good and super affordable as well i feel like for someone who has like very jittery hands these kind of eyebrow pencils work very well it gives you that shape it gives you that definition that you want and it doesn't really um move around too much but it might look a little bit stuck which is okay we can tame it so taking the brush side and just quickly brushing and blending the product with my natural hair. And to set this eyebrow hair in gel, we have the Swiss Beauty Gel Mascara Lash and Brow. I don't use this for my lashes, I just use this only for my brows. It's a clear gel, so it can set the hair in place pretty well. And then to prime my eyelids, I'm using the Swiss Beauty Liquid Concealer. I have this one in the shade 05 Medium. Now for eyeshadow palettes, I have these two eyeshadow palettes. This one is the matte variant and this one is the more mixed variant. It has a shimmer shade as well. Now this one is in the shade number 04 and this one is in 08. Now this dark blue is really nice and pigmented. It doesn't go on patchy at all. This green is really nice. But for today's look, I uh, wanted to use a more warmer tone shade because I've already filmed it with this blue shade and it was not going really well. I had to take it off. So these are the shades of the liquid eyeshadow that I have. Now this one is in the shade number 09 Paradise. This looks weird in the tube but it's just that the pigment has separated. Now this one is the shade number 03. This one is in shade number 02 and this one is uh, 01. These are the shades that I have. So I want something that goes cohesively with this one. And I need to film a couple of other videos as well. So I don't I make sure that this time I don't have to take off the eyeshadow. Taking this orange shade all over my crease. Then any lighter shade would do. Just blend the orange a little bit further. Now I'm going to be putting down a base eyeshadow. To go on with a liquid eyeshadow so this is the only uh, shimmer shadow that is there in this palette it's a nice shimmer but it doesn't really pack a punch like you would want it to i really wish these palettes came with a mirror because i don't have to use any other palette then i can just use this taking this shade in um 09 paradise and just topping that shimmer shade off with this just a light wash. Remember not to cake this one up too much because it does look a little bit clumpy on the eyes. So make sure that you go ahead with a light hand. Just one coat should do. I'm taking this shade to the outer corner. It's really nice and pigmented deep red shade. So that's the reason I wanted to take this one. Just lightly dragging it into the crease as well. Taking a clean fluffy brush and just blending everything in together. So nothing looks patchy. Just for the inner half, taking this shade in 03, that is champagne. Just applying it just to the inner corner of my eye, just to brighten it up just a little bit. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Swiss Beauty Felt Tip Eyeliner. This one goes on pretty black. It's very pigmented and uh, it stays on for quite some time. And it's very easy to apply. It's, it gives you that precision you would need, even if you are a beginner. So now moving on to face. For primer, I'm going to be using this Swiss Beauty Real Makeup Base. This one is in the shade Gold Tint. Taking a generous amount of it. 
this one does contain like gold reflex to it you can't see it if you have like a good coverage foundation on top but otherwise you can see the shimmer particles visibly so i wouldn't recommend this for just your bare skin but it doesn't like exaggerate texture or amplify anything on your face with that done for foundation i went ahead and got this swiss beauty flawless finish daily wear lightweight foundation shade number 06 shade uh, medium quite peachy looking on the skin okay. what is this <laughs> The shade is a disaster. Oh my god. It's worse than the mass uh, shade range. Oh my god, I just can't do this. We're gonna be using some other foundation today, you guys. I'm gonna be using some other foundation of my choice and uh, the rest of the products we will continue with uh, the Swiss Beauty products. And then for concealer, we have these two concealers. This one is the Swiss Beauty HD Concealer Pen and I also have the Swiss Beauty Liquid Concealer. So we're gonna be using both of this, one on each side. So on this side, I'm gonna be using this one. This one is a really nice creamy concealer. It goes on really creamy, smooth underneath the eyes and it doesn't dry the under eye area. The coverage is sort of light to medium and you have to build it on. Uh, it doesn't stay for a long time on uh, the inner corner of my eye. It does fade away. So I am going in one more time just to build the coverage on the inner corner. And on this side, I'm gonna be using the liquid concealer in the shade medium, 05. Both of these have pretty good coverage if you guys can see just that this one eventually settles down to a somewhat matte finish and can dry your under eye area out but um, it's a good concealer I like it. And then for bronzer I'm going to be using this one. This is a Swiss Beauty concealer pen and I have this one in the shade caramel. I don't quite like this applicator though like it's kind of hard to get the product out. It's kind of like gets all over the place waste a lot of product you guys can see it does add a nice warmth to the skin this does look unblended but i'm going to be leaving it at this because i am going to go ahead with few other products and then it'll look all blended so i also have the swiss beauty ultra blush palette i'm going to be taking this shade from that this is the bronzer shade and I'm going to be using this one on top of this i like to take it to the inner corner and curve it like this because i feel like that way uh, my cheeks look a little bit fuller now for blush i'm going to be taking this shade i have tried this blush palette before i feel like some of the shades are a little bit too matte for my liking and uh, can cling onto your skin and dry your skin out yeah i guess that will be too pigmented and then i'm going to be uh, setting my face with this one this is the swiss beauty uh, natural makeup fixer And then for highlight, my favorite part, we're going to be using this one. This is a Swiss Beauty Fusion Highlighter in the shade number 01. Taking it with a very light hand. Look at that, that's so intense. Oh my god. And then now for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Swiss Beauty lipstick in the shade Bronze. One of my favorite, current favorites. Love this shade. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Uh, you saw what I struggled with. You saw what I really liked, what I didn't really like. And I hope this helps you decide what you want to get from this brand. At least I've covered most of the products that they have. I don't really have 
all the products but uh, i hope this helps you guys and so yeah let me know what other one brand best and worst or one brand makeup tutorial you want to watch let me know in the comment section down below and while you're at it give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye